Good morning, everybody. You're watching Iowa Live here on CW Iowa 23. Jackie Schmellen here in studio, and that's because Lou is out and about and live this morning, hanging out with our friends at DMAC. Lou, what's happening out there today? We are here for a job fair and truck rodeo at DMAC. We are at the Transportation Institute. And in case you're wondering where in the world is, we know how many great programs the folks over at DMAC have, but this is easy to figure out when you realize that right across the street, look over here, Chris, right across the street is the Animal Rescue League. That's the main office of the Animal Rescue League of Iowa. So seriously, right across the street from where they are located is where the Transportation Institute is here for DMAC. And again, the job fair and truck rodeo going on today. And and then a little bit tomorrow as well. There's a barbecue that is going on a little later on this morning. We'll tell you all about that. But Dave Fifner is joining us over here, and he is the man in charge here at the Transportation Institute. And uh, this is an exciting time because there are so many different careers that people can get involved with when they go to DMAC, and transportation just so happens to be one of them. Absolutely. Uh, truck driving, uh, Class A and B CDL, uh, the uh, job market is very, very strong. Uh, we've got uh, 17 recruiters coming today, which is a record for us, and uh, hopefully we'll see that increase in years to come. Now, when people want to get involved in the transportation industry and they, and they come over here to DMAC, to the Transportation Institute, what are you going to teach them? What are you going to run through the steps with? Uh, basically, we take them really from the ground up. Uh, we start with an information session to let them know exactly uh, all the details on the program. We do those Mondays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if they uh, decide to come into the program, uh, we've got a checklist of items that they need to take care of. And uh, we'll take them right from the ground level up and uh, everyone graduates with a Class A CDL with their endorsements. Now, uh, do people have to have any kind of previous experience driving a truck in order to get involved with this? No, not at all. Uh, just a regular driver's license is all that's required to start. And, uh, you know, a little bit of a knowledge about the industry because uh, it is a challenging industry. So you need to be aware of what, what you're getting into. Well, how is it challenging? You, you mentioned that. and But again, it's challenging, but at the same time, it can be very rewarding. That's true. Uh, you know, challenging in that you have to make a lot of adjustments if you're going out over the road. But there are a lot of local jobs available, regional, dedicated. Uh, all of those options are out there in all the segments. So Now, how long of a program is it uh, here at DMAC to, to be involved with the Transportation Institute? It's a six-week program. So uh, we start classes every three weeks year-round. So we've always got another class ready to go. Okay, and we we're talking about, let's get down to the to brass tacks here. Uh, let's talk about uh, the pay scale and what kind of money people can make in the transportation uh, industry. Because you have to realize, folks, if you're getting something at the store, uh, chances are about 99%. It came via a truck, isn't it? True. Uh, trucking touches about 70% of all the freight in the United States. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big piece, obviously. Uh, what was your question? No, the but what kind of what kind oh, of yeah. money can you make? What's the, yeah. the bottom line? Yeah, basically uh, a really conservative figure is starting somewhere around forty to forty-five thousand. Uh, within a couple years, you'd be up in the sixty, seventy thousand range pretty easily. Now, is that for people that have to stay locally, or is that more of over the road that you're talking about? That's more over the road, but uh, local folks can do very well also. Okay, and we have a lot of people that are here involved with the program, and you, you have more than just one or two people that are involved when you come here to the Institute, don't you? Oh, very true. We've got a, a full-time staff of uh, six uh, instructors, myself, my assistant, and uh, we have part-time part support also. How long have you been in the industry? Uh, over 25 years. Right. And you started off in what area of the country? Uh, I started off right in Des Moines. I worked for Schneider National Carriers, a large uh, over-the-road carrier, and uh, I've been here for 15 years. And you mentioned some of the, the major carriers are going to be here recruiting, and, and are they always looking for truck drivers? Generally speaking, the uh, market has been very, very strong. Uh, so a lot of these carriers are hiring week in and week out all year long. Okay, we have some other uh, folks that are standing by here. Jason, come on over here. We've seen this guy uh, floating around here at various events, and uh, you're part of the uh, the Transportation Institute uh, collection of experts that are here. Uh, tell everybody what you do over here. Um, take students out on the road, uh, teach them backing maneuvers on the concourse, basically all the skills that they're going to need in their everyday lives when they get to be truck drivers. Now, backing maneuvers, when you talk about backing maneuvers, you don't just back up into a, to a slot and dump, dump you whatever you're carrying? or No. no. Uh, probably one of the neatest ones we teach them is uh, uh, parallel parking a semi. Uh, there's a fair amount of people that can't even uh, parallel park a car, and we'll teach them how to parallel park a semi. But there's also a 90-degree alley docks, 45 alley docks, 
sight side maneuvers, blind side maneuvers. Uh, you never know what you're going to run into, where you're going to have to back a truck into. So uh, we try to teach them, show them everything. Right. Now, that you have the ability to do that here uh, at your facility, yeah. uh, which is located here on 54th Street uh, here in the Des Moines area. And how long, it's a six-week program, but yep. how many times does it take someone to become comfortable doing some of the maneuvers that you just talked about? Uh, it, it, it depends on the person. Uh, there's, there's some people that catch on to it really quick, and there's some that don't. Um, no, you continue to work with them until oh, yeah. they start get, getting the hang of it, or do yeah. you just say, okay, that's enough? Um, there's, there's a point. <laughs> where uh, I always said time flies when you're having fun or you have a limited amount of time to learn something. Uh, time flies for both of them. But uh, most everybody uh, at some point will pick it up and, and be decent enough at it to where once they get out there and that maneuver presents itself, then they, they know what to do. And, and nothing, nothing replaces experience. How long have you been behind the wheel of a big rig? Uh, I've had a class A CDL for about 20 years. Drove for different farmers, uh, delivered for Casey's for four and a half years. Uh, so I, I think I probably got a, a pretty wide variety of experiences with a semi. Yeah, and we talked about the fact that, you know, this is a, a career that yeah. is it, always in demand, and that's what people are looking for nowadays. You don't want to have something you have to bounce to from a job to job. This is something that people are always looking for, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, lots of jobs out there, um, and there's lots of jobs out there that you can go and work for a place for the rest of your life. Uh, now, what's so fulfilling uh, in your eyes uh, to being over the road driver, for example? Well, uh, probably one of the, and I never got to do it, but a lot of these guys have an opportunity, number one, to make more money than, than they can make anywhere else. Uh, number two, you have a great opportunity to be your own boss. You can buy your own truck, you know, set some of your own hours and decide what you're gonna do. And, and a lot of people, they wouldn't have an opportunity to do that anywhere else other than a truck, so. And if you decide that you want to go over the road, you can see the country. If we yeah. decide to stay in town, you can stay in town, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's, there's lots of options with uh, truck driving. All right, we're going to continue talking about the options that Jason just mentioned here in just a little bit. And, yeah, we are going to get behind the wheel of one of these rigs here in just a little bit. You can hear a rig pulling up behind the camera right now. But don't go anywhere. We're going to take care of a little bit of biz, and we're coming back here. We're at DMAC. We're at the Transportation Institute on 54th Street with Iowa Live. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.